What's going on guys? Caleb here, Caleb's Property Maintenance. Thank you for coming back for this video. This video is going to be truly amazing and I hope you stick around and watch the whole thing straight through because you're not going to want to miss a single minute of it. So, Alright guys, so behind me we have what seems to be the two kings of wheeled blowers. You have the Little Wonder and the Billy Goat. And we can have this argument all day long about which one's better and which one blows more and what, which one has better features. So in this video, I'm going to hopefully answer any questions that you may have. Um, but I, I'm going to tell you already, I think it really comes down just to personal preference. What do you personally prefer? There's some good things about each one. There's some bad things about each one. So that's really what it comes down to, but just watch the rest of the video to see. Um, the rest of my family is getting a nice strip out along there, and so we're going to set up the blowers behind that strip, and we're going to just see stationary how much they can blast through, and um, maybe help you guys out a little bit. and. Um, and then we're just, we just got to clear this whole thing. And this is only the backyard. Oh man. We've already did the, done the neighbors next door. So I think each lot is about um, half an acre. So clearing, a, clearing an acre of leaves is quite a, quite a feat. And <laughs> but we got it. Go check out my Instagram page because I'm going to post a picture of the leaf pile just from the neighbor's yard. The thing is massive. Wow, the thing is huge. So make sure you go check that out. And um, I'm gonna get set up with them so we can get this thing rolling and uh, enjoy the video, guys. All right, guys, I've got the strip here. I tried to make this as fair as possible. So don't get at me in the comments down below. Oh, this wasn't fair. Da -da -da. Just, just relax. It's never gonna be perfect. We don't have a scale, we didn't count the leaves, none of that. So, we're gonna try our very best. And um, the first test, what we're gonna do first, we're gonna turn both, have both blowers going at uh, about the middle, middle position. I'll lock the handle in on the billy goat at the middle position, and then we will uh, start up the little wonder, and we're just gonna see how much of a straight stream through the through the strip uh, that each one does. So, all right, here we go. All right, guys, we got them both locked on. So, uh, here we go. Alright guys, so let's see what the results are here. So the little wonder is pretty wide here at the front and it gets a little bit narrower as we come down. So we go starts out narrow and gets a little bit wider as we go along. So what that tells me is if you're using the little wonder or billy goat just as a prop, the little wonder would be better because you want the wider at the beginning of the stream instead of at the end. Now what we're going to try to do is we're going to move to a little bit different spot in the strip and we're going to just aim it straight down, just about down and we'll see how far it can push through on the down part. Alright, we've moved to a little bit different section and adjust it all the way down and my helpers say three, two, one, go!
Because this was slightly it thicker the here. Like that, the right. And it pulled the same distance. Yeah, so we're going to say it's about the same pointed down. So now to adjust the chute on the billy goat, it's really simple just to use the handle. On the little wonder, this is supposed to move the deflector up or down, but if I loosen up this screw to make this move up and down, the air volume that's going through the chute causes it to just go up and it, it doesn't stay in position. So maybe a little wonder can uh, help me out with that or they might have to change a little bit of something to make it, uh, make it so that it locks in place. Other than that, they really are actually quite comparable. I was pretty pretty surprised I thought little wonder was gonna do a better and and back to the first test the wider test I think the, this got a little bit messed up but this was where the little wonder was and I think you would want that if you had a stationary as a prop as just a prop to help you along because the, the billy goat shoot is more narrow so that's my two cents <laughs> nice on the billy goat to be able to go up and down on it. It, it, it is. It takes the big piles right off the top of the, the top. Now we did it with the little wonder by tipping the little wonder up and down like this. But with the billy goat it's just a hand. But so. whatever you like that's what you like. You're right. If it does the job, it does the job. Right, that's what I said at the introduction. So. It really just comes down to personal preference, either one. But the Little Wonder is a little right, heavier to, to push work. than the Billy Goat because it's all metal instead of plastic. So if you're pushing it up a hill, it's a little easier with the Billy Goat because you don't have as much weight. Okay. Um, I'll, I'm going to fact check that and see exactly what the comparison, and I will leave that in the screen as well, to what the difference is in weight-wise. So, all right, guys, we got to get back to work. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, the thoughts about the little wonder. Once again, guys, it just really comes down to personal preference. I prefer the little wonder. My dad prefers the billy goat, and we just have to agree to disagree. I like the little wonder because when I'm working by myself, I'm just using this blower as a prop, and this to me blows more right out of the chute than the billy goat. The billy goat stream starts out narrow and gets wider, as you guys saw in the video. So I just like the little wonder, and if you're doing parking lots and stuff like that, this blower is a must. It doesn't even compare to the Billy Goat. I mean, it's not even close. So those are just my thoughts on it. I like the color combination. I mean, but that, that really is irrelevant. <laughs> um, so overall, I love this blower. I want to say a huge thank you to Schiller Grounds Care for allowing me to demo this blower for an extended period of time so I could really put it up against the Billy Goat and see how it performs. So I want to say a huge thank you to them. And um, last but not least, guys, you, you may think this is weird, but if you watch the lawn care nut, you know exactly what I'm about to do. I absolutely love this blower. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, you're gonna, you guys are just gonna have to stay tuned to see whether or not I'm actually gonna pick up one of these and have two push blowers going at the same time. So you're just gonna have to stay tuned for next year. Obviously this year is just about wrapped up, so I'm not gonna need it for this year, but just stay tuned uh, to see whether or not I pick one up for next year. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video of Caleb's Property Maintenance. Have a great rest of your day.